This is the brake kit from MNG Engineering. Let's see what's inside. This, this, and then some hose. The breakaway protection system. It looks like a compressed air canister that'll fit somewhere in my Jeep. And this is the thing that attaches to my Jeep's brake cylinder. It looks like an input for the quarter inch air hose from the RV that will actuate the Jeep's brakes. Going on in. Removing the airline to insert the T. Cool. It's out. Okay, so this elbow is next, and the T will go in there. This one was even harder to break free. In with the new. Had to twist the emergency brake line out of the way, but now this is going smooth. Replace the elbow with a good dose of Teflon tape and tighten her down. Replace the hose and screw her down. Install the coupling for the air hose to the toad. Spring brake. The top one that we used says service brake. Now to pull the air hose through to the back of the RV. I pushed it through to there and it's got to go all the way to the hitch. Okay, it goes up there above that bar, loops down through these coils, goes along with all these tie wraps, headed towards the back. Almost done. So I've decided to put the air connection here, and that's the spot. So the bracket for the air hose connection is now ready. Let's cut it to length. So the fitting comes with a little brass ferrule in there and you have to also have a brass insert. So let's connect that up to the hose. First you put that guy on, then that guy on, then you put in the insert. So you've got the insert, the ferrule, and the cap, and it's ready to connect to that. Oh, let's grab our wrench and tighten it and then we'll stick it in here and connect that. There's a washer to make sure it's all tight. That'll be perfect. Just a couple of turns to tighten it up and then this portion of the job is complete. Save for testing, which means I'm gonna have to go under the RV when the engine's running and spray down all the fittings I worked on with soap solution while somebody else presses the brake pedal to put pressure to those. Oh good, this goes nice and tight. Yay, okay. This part until testing is done. Now on to the Jeep. All right, this is my Wrangler, and this is my M&G Engineering braking system and the breakaway system to make sure that if your Jeep comes apart from your RV, um, it will stop automatically. This gets installed in line where the master cylinder is right now, pushing the master cylinder back about four inches. We had to remove this that we showed you already. I had to remove this whole assembly. So now with this pushed back, pull off the master cylinder and get it 
out of the way. And our wonderful new M&G unit fits right in there. I've decided to put the breakaway protector here. The vacuum booster studs have to be shortened to seven eighths. Both studs measured to seven eighths of an inch. We'll have to minimize sparks and debris. This ought to do the trick. Done. Let's see if these threads still work. Measure twice, cut once. The first step in the installation of the M&G unit is to adjust this shaft they call B into the M&G unit A so that it just barely hits the end. Obviously it needs to go in about half an inch more. You want to get it until it's perfect and then back it off a quarter turn. I feel a little bit of wobble, so it's still touching. And that is solid against the brake booster. Okay, O-ring in place. Each step of the way, we're going to have to make sure that O-ring stays on. Okay, we're going to have to get the nuts on first. Because you can't put the nuts on once the... Once it's all the way pushed back. The first nut is on. Now before I tighten it, I get the other one and the O-ring in place. Okay, fit is achieved, but if you can see that little gap there, it's still not adjusted properly. So this thing has to be turned in a little bit, and iteratively we have to keep putting it back together until we get that to the right dimension. Okay, the actuator length is now adjusted properly. It's like it's part C in your instructions. And now to put the O-ring back on, and this is going to be the actual install run. That's very exciting. Okay, there we go. Tightening the bolts. Cruise control unit, which has turned 45 degrees from where it was, but everything plugged in. And the entire bracket for these units slid towards the washer tank. Through the input, up through the side, not next to the radiator. Come out of the bottom of the headlight hole there. Go along the side behind the battery and connect underneath here to the input the cap barrel insert. Push the insert in, screw it down. Cap barrel insert. Screw it onto the coupling and screw on the nipple. And tighten the air connection. There's our air connection at the front of the Jeep with a spark plug cap. The output of the breakaway goes to the MNG brake cylinder. Wire along there. The air fitting goes into the MNG cylinder cap insert breakaway wiring the two wires from the breakaway one goes to ground right there the other follows around comes here connected all the way through and goes down to the breakaway switch the other end of the breakaway switch comes on back comes back through the headlight hole just like the air one did I'll tie wrap them all together comes back through here, goes through our five amp fuse and connects to the power bus. First test, you drive the Jeep and touch the disc brake, make sure it's cool without using the brakes at all, meaning you downshift and you um, use the emergency brake to stop for two miles or more to make sure the brakes aren't rubbing. And sure enough, they were cold to the touch. And then you do another two mile drive like I just did and see that they're a little bit warm to the touch after two miles of driving using regular brakes. So my brakes are working perfectly normal. And um, next we'll test with the RV. We just completed a test of the actual braking system. We connected this from the RV to the Jeep and started the RV engine. 
and my wife pressed the brakes on the RV and the Jeep wouldn't roll anymore. We sort of weren't hitched up at that time, but the air was connected and I was driving back and forth and sure enough, when she pressed the brake pedal, the uh, Jeep stopped all by itself. So that was great. The next test we're gonna do is gonna be testing the breakaway system. This is a test of the breakaway system. So I'm gonna push the car and it's gonna roll just fine. And when we yank out this breakaway pin, it should stop. And it worked perfectly. And that was from charging it up last night when I had it connected to the RV. So, yay. Now, let's see. Yeah, it ain't moving at all. That is locked. And I push this back in. And it goes in. And suddenly it can roll again. It released the brake. So, yay. There's our breakaway system.